The first video I want to play is from the ABC's Q&A, and a lovely lady asks a question about why her values, if she feels like Australia is becoming so far disconnected from their values. She makes reference to her daughter in a public school, and she uh, is really worried about where things are going. And we're going to spur the, con the uh, conversation on from that. So this is the uh, clip we're going to play now. Here we go. Before, went to the local state public school and were dictated to that multiculturalism is a great thing. I don't believe it is, as I feel that the culture of the original British slash Irish majority has been demonised constantly for the last three decades. Case in point, frequent vandalism of memorials to Captain Cook. How does this, how does democracy fit into this atmosphere of beat up the white guy? Anne Ali. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Um, I, 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 I do have to disagree with you. I, I think multiculturalism isn't a thing, it's what we are. It's the character of our nation. Um, and uh, it's not, a, it's not a, a policy that was foisted on anyone. Take a look around you. We are multicultural. It is who we are. It is who we are, and I think it has brought immense benefits to this country. As somebody who migrated here myself, I think multiculturalism has brought immense benefits. And I'm not talking about being able to have some soy sauce on your sausage roll or being able to wear a sari or any of those things. I'm talking about democracy uh, is more resilient and is better when there are diverse ideas, diverse uh, thinking, uh, of, uh, of, of faiths, diversity of cultural backgrounds, democracy is better for it. Um, I don't think we bash the white guy, as you might say, and perhaps if we were to trade places for a day, you might think differently. Um, uh, because I get uh, quite a bit of racism, you wouldn't, <laughs> who would have thought? Um, <laughs> um, so I think if we were to trade places and if we were, had the opportunity to walk in each other's shoes, you might think differently. Damien, you were shaking your head. What was your gut reaction to that? And is that the first oh, time you've seen well, it? like most ABC content, I want to vomit. <laughs> so I try not to watch the ABC very much. I'm probably the only person who's worked there uh, out of the five of us. Really? But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was what the, happened to it? Uh, 1989, I was the Queensland breakfast radio, morning radio news presenter. Um, I was only 22 years old, but, uh, you know, that, that, was, that was a different ABC then. And... Uh, without getting too far away from the topic, but very quickly, uh, the, those days it was like the Triple J people were the kids and you had a, an overlay of management, right? And I was a bit of a lefty in those days, a bit of a, you know, uh, activist little journalist kid mm. with the pea brain. And um, <laughs> they, uh, they, excuse me, the, the older people, the grown-ups, would keep us in check, right? right? Yeah. What's happened to the ABC now? This is just my theory, but I think that the Triple J people have all grown up and they've moved into management positions and they've moved on to the metro radio stations and other jobs yeah. and they don't they haven't matured they've never worked outside the organization right and as a result uh the the i mean it really is a case of the kids are running the asylum um to put it nicely and uh it's a it's a really dangerous situation because you've got this it, it's not they always go on about abc bias you know being about um oh we're not giving enough time to the the right-wing political parties and we and they always say oh we are though we are it's not that. It's not about time and how much you get. It's what you leave out. Mm. It's the embedding or what I call bias by, by omission, mm. right? And it's the cultural underbelly that underlies every single minute of ABC coverage of anything, right? Mm. It's just there. It's a cultural, mm. you know, disturbance. And you see it in that clip. What did we see? Yeah. You know, as soon as that woman started to talk about traditional conservative values and family, she's mocked, yeah. she's laughed at, yeah. and then airtime is given to this patronising, quite ignorant, ill-informed woman. I don't know who the heck... Who was that? Do you know who that was? I'll, I'll, I'll pull that up. We will find out. Yeah, um, but I'm sorry, that was profoundly ill-informed. Multiculturalism is a policy. It was formally introduced in the 1970s um and it 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 uh it i mean the other things that she said were just you know we could talk about those but but, but i mean I, I think they're pretty crazy before i go any further i probably sorry guys i probably should have done this to start with but can you i'm going to go through the